The Bright Start Initiative hopes to get West Tennessee students back on track in reading and math. The program will focus on children from birth to eight years old. The people at Bright Start of West Tennessee revealed their plans today. Today was um, the culmination of a year and a half worth of strategic planning and work. The action plan covers everything from health and development, health and mental health services, um, child care and access to early education, and support for families and caregivers. There are 14 strategies to the three-year plan. The issues that we face are really complex, and so we're not dealing with easy solutions, and they also involve so many different sectors, from government to business um, to um, you know, early education professionals themselves, but nonprofits. One of the biggest priorities, according to Olivia Abernathy, is early childhood care. We cannot wait to invest in our children until they get to kindergarten when 90% of their brain is formed by the time they get there. And so this is the most important time in a child's life, but it's also the time when parents are left to fend for themselves. And right now, parents do not have access to child care, especially if they work non-traditional hours. Bright Start is already offering child care at one school in the area and hopes to expand to more. The micro center network that McNary County is starting um, in their Selmer Elementary, um, which is just a one classroom child care facility. Um, it's a really uh, cost efficient way to provide child care on site at a business or at a hospital or at a place of employment. The city of Jackson is joining the Bright Start program by linking people with child care in the city starting next month. That will be um, first a website that is a one-stop navigator tool for parents to go and search for child care throughout West Tennessee. And so they'll be able to compare programs, look for different um, things that they want in a child care facility, um, and also check real-time availability in those programs. You can view the whole list of Bright Start's 14 strategies of the Early Childhood Action Plan at WNBJTV.com. For 39 News, I'm Alexander Bitterling.